Hi, this is episode 13. We're going to show you how to make dinosaur bones. Last summer, Chantel and I had a blast making the bones with the kids for the dinosaur dig. And so the kids had a great time digging them up, so we thought you would too. Before you begin, you should gather a few items. Plaster Paris, you can get any hardware store. A, a plastic cup you can throw out if you want, and a plastic spoon. We have a skewer and some uh, toothpicks that you'll need later. This is homemade Play-Doh. You can use store-bought, but homemade is fun to make and it's really easy. Chicken bones or uh, Cornish hen bones. These are templates that are online if you want to use them if you don't have bones. And they're also great to use as a guide to know how to lay out the bones. Some seashells or sticks or whatever to help um, make it look authentic. To do the dinosaur casting, you want to lay out the chicken bones the way you want the dinosaur to look like. You can use a template instead of the bones, or you can use both the template and the bones. You start out with the Play-Doh, and you want to flatten it in your container, okay? This is the container that I'm going to use with the plaster of Paris, so I know the size of my container for the plaster of Paris. You can lay out the bones of the dinosaur that you're interested in, or you can use a template that we have online. So this is a trick that you want to do is once you flatten it out, you see how I have all these fingerprints in there? I want to pick it up nice and carefully and flip it over. See, now I have a, a relatively smooth surface to work with. And then you take the template or you lay out the bones right into the Play-Doh. Okay, make it very deep. And then you take the template up then you take your bones if you have them and you can lay them out to make it even more realistic looking. You can see on here that looks like a vertebrae and you can use that as the vertebrae all the way down. Nice and deep impressions. So you've got the backbone and the tail of the dinosaur. I also kind of use it to beef up the head a little bit. Okay, and then you can use some of the smaller bones to make the ribs deep, rib looking. Okay, and then you take out the bones. Now we're ready for the plaster of Paris. The plaster is all mixed and it's, it's getting thick. You, you want to pour it before it gets too thick. You want to pour it over the entire impression so it's about a half inch thick. If you pour it too thin, it will crack when you dig it up. So you want to make sure you get a nice thick layer of plaster pairs. See how it's coming out really thick now. So now we're ready to put it aside to let it dry overnight. The next day, be sure to remove the Play-Doh. It's moist and it starts to degrade the plaster of Paris. So in order to do that, of course, you want to flip it over. All right, nice and gently. All right. And then you can pull the Play-Doh out and use a toothpick or a skewer to dig out all of the Play-Doh. So this is what it looks like. On the day of the dig, you might want to dig a hole in your garden and bury it there or put it in the sandbox for your kids to dig up. Okay. For more ideas on uh, dinosaur activities, come check out our website. See how easy it was? Now it's your turn to try it. If you have any questions, drop us a note. Otherwise, see you next time.